What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out an Is It Riddle Form deck. Uh, now you may be asking, you know, this is a two drop that essentially becomes a 3-3 three, three, uh, little creature, flying creature. Why wouldn't we use something like Sprite Dragon, uh, which is arguably much better? Uh, it's because we're not going to. So Riddle Form is essentially an enchantment that costs two mana. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you can have it become a 3-3 Sphinx with flying in addition to its other types until the end of the turn. You can also scry one by paying three, uh, which is really, really nice in a deck like this. So lots of upside there. Uh, the idea is... What's really cool, I should say, about Riddle Form is it's not always a creature, uh, and so therefore creature removal doesn't always work on it. Uh, and so there are going to be instances where you'll be able to kind of surprise out the opponent, or uh, they just won't have a way to deal with it. Now, what's also nice about this, you can do it on the opponent's turn. Uh, if, you know, you play an opt on their turn, for instance, you can make this a 3-3, and then all of a sudden you have a blocker. Uh, and so there are a few little, like, kind of cheaty, tricky things that you can do with it, which is really fun. Uh, obviously, the rest of the deck, essentially just made to get more riddle forms and then make them 3 threes, and that's it. Uh, so in the one drop slot, we have opt, obviously scry one, draw a card, instant speed, like I said, very important with this. Stern Dismissal, uh, one mana return target creature or enchantment an opponent controls to its owner's hand. Again, just to get blockers out of the way to get us to uh, swing in. Crash Through, same thing, draws us a card as well, so it does kind of replace itself, which is great. Uh, and gives Trample, which I guess can be relevant depending on the matchup. Uh, Shock, obviously going to just get rid of uh, opponent's low, dro low drop creatures. Obviously the riddle form itself, unsubstantiate here, another way to uh, either bounce a spell or a creature. This is actually a really cool card, I love uns uh, unsubstantiate. Really, really happy to see this in Core Set 2021, I just think it's a fun card. Uh, Brazen Borrower, obviously a really, really nice one. Uh, not only does it allow us to bounce something, but it also gives us another 3-1 uh, flying threat uh, that we can play at flash speed too, so we can leave up some things and then flash this in, so... An amazing card, obviously, for this deck. Uh, Mirror Maid, obviously the idea here is to be able to copy more riddle forms. Uh, so we can actually have up to seven uh, if we really, really try hard. Uh, so we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to hopefully get that going. Uh, probably won't ever get to seven, but uh, it's a very cool idea to basically be able to have a few extra copies uh, to be really, really aggressive when we need to. Uh, Narset Parter Avails. Uh, a, a really amazing card, in my opinion. It shuts down draw on the opponent's side, which is great. Uh, but it also, uh, you, you can start digging through your deck for any non-creature, non-land card, which is essentially most of our deck. I mean, aside from Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant, this gets everything else, uh, which is great. It can get us another riddle form. It can get us some removal if we need it. Uh, maybe just a Brazen Borrower or even like a Mirror Maid. So lots of really, really good stuff there. Bone Crusher Giant, obviously a shock on a stick, uh, gives us a little bit more removal, but it, as well as another threat. Uh, and then the Royal Scions here is a great way to um, either get in some extra damage with one of its plus ones, or just continue drawing some cards if we need to. Uh, if we get to that minus eight, which actually isn't all that unlikely, uh, we can really, really do some damage as well. So super, super powerful. Uh, and then land-wise, we are at 20, uh, which is pretty low. But again, look at our curve. I mean, we've got m at most a three drop uh, and a lot of one drops in particular. So not tremendously worried about that. Um, but that does mean that you're probably going to have a little bit of inconsistency in the beginning. Uh, and that's just normal. That, that's what you expect with a uh, 20 land deck. But nine islands, seven mountains, and then of course four steam vents. Very importantly, we do not have tapped lands in this list. Uh, that that's very crucial because again we're we're trying to hit everything on curve uh, and as great as like a temple of epiphany would be to be able to scry one and make sure that you've got a good top deck we've already got the scry with riddle form uh, and everything we've got is cheap so it really doesn't mean that much to have that scry land uh, when it can potentially set you back pretty substantially so uh, I do really like the lands on this one um, Really th important thing to note here, uh, first of all, I haven't play tested this deck. We're trying this out, and this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. But uh, what's important about this deck is because a lot of it is at instant speed, uh, normally this would be probably a lot worse, but um, Teferi's banned. Uh, officially banned, and so 
we kind of have an end now to be able to go for safely go for more instant uh, focused decks. So I think we're going to start to see a little bit more of that coming out of the meta, um, which is really, really important. The bands, I, we kind of talked about them briefly. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. I, I don't know. They were a little aggressive. Some of them, uh, certainly some of them made sense, but they were, they were interesting. Let's just say, um, I think we'll keep this. This is a very tempo heavy hand. Um, we just have a lot of little bounce effects, which I'm super fine with. So let's give it a shot. And there's the riddle form. Look at that. Uh, so this is great. Depending on what they do, obviously we're planning on playing the riddle form here uh, and then hopefully getting a mirror made in there, uh, depending on what they do. And uh, it looks like this is just going to be kind of a Simic ramp deck, uh, which is very, very good, just to, to be clear. <clears throat> Uh, also, just want to let you know, because we're not playing things like Sprite Dragon, it's very likely we're going to lose a lot, but we're going to have fun doing it, and that's fine. Mm. Recording slightly earlier than normal, because I have a tremendous number of meetings today. Um, so, want to make sure I get these games in for you. I told you guys at the beginning of the week it was going to be a busy one. I did not lie. Uh, we have got a lot of busy things going on. All right, so we're gonna take a hit here. That's fine. Um, there is the option that we stern dismissal, uh, if we would like. Don't know if we want to or not, to be honest. Um, part of me really wants to, and part of me kind of just doesn't. Uh, worth noting, playing any non-creature spell is gonna trigger this, so the Royal Scions would trigger it. Um, the question is, do we want to do that? Uh, hmm. Let's do this. I'm gonna bounce this. Let's take this action. <clears throat> right, and then we're gonna attack. And we're gonna end the turn here. Uh, what we can do now is leave up the stern dismissal uh, for whatever they happen to play next. pretty good pretty good uh, do we want to bounce that is my question um, it's not really a good bounce target is my thing I'm gonna say no but that might be incorrect I don't know for sure unsubstantiate huh uh, let's see I wish we had another land. We could mirror made and then do like stern dismissal or something along those lines. Um, let's stern dismissal now. <clears throat> we'll take the action. The problem is we're not getting anywhere by doing this really uh, because they just get to gain that life back. Um, we do get to unsubstantiate whatever they do this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A crazer, sure. So I take it they will not be going for the Hydroid Crisis because they have a better option now. Um, this deck, I have to imagine, is very annoying to play against. Uh, I don't particularly care about that, to be brutally honest. I would love to get a couple, and this is what I'm talking about, a couple more lands would really put us in a great position because, like, if we get a land, for instance, we can Mirror Maid and then Crash Through um, or, you know, whatever, but we've got more Riddle Forms out. Um, granted, I suppose they can't attack, but um, unless... I might be incorrect on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's do this. We're just going to return that. That's why I like Unsubstantiate, though. It allows us to do that. Uh, we'll shock. Might as well. Um, and we'll attack. They can block this, that's fine. <sighs> Don't feel great about our position, but... It is what it is. Yep. 
So now we're in pretty terrible shape. The reality of it is that we don't really have a ton we can do. Um, oh look, the land we needed. Um, <clears throat> if we play that, it just dies, right? Artifact or enchantment. Hmm. So I think we just pass and then plan to flash out the Brazen Borrower. I think that's our best bet. Um, reality is setting in, though, that we most likely are just going to lose. Um, with Gem Razor in particular, they just have a great way to deal with whatever we're doing. Um, and that's the downside to having a riddle form over, <laughs> over a uh, really anything else. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and flash this out now. They're... I mean, they see that this is in our, uh, our zone there, so. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, pff, duh. Oh, well, that's fine. We would have lost anyway. Um, all right, game two. Let's see if we can get there. Um, and unfortunately, that's a a testament to lack of lands. Uh, as I mentioned, the consistency can be a very large issue. Uh, and so from that uh, position, if we had gotten, for instance, a mirror, uh, a mirror mage out or whatever it is, then we would have been able to have copied the riddle form. They could have gem razored us, but we still would have had something. Um, and then therefore we would have had a little bit more we could have done. Still wouldn't have been great. They just had stronger stuff than us, but um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out, so no worries. Let's jump into game two, <clears throat> see if we can get there. Just want to mention also to you guys, if you would like to enter our, uh, our giveaway, our double masters giveaway, you can certainly do so. Uh, we'd, of course, really appreciate it. Um, and the, uh, the goal there is you're going to be winning a draft pack, uh, which is three packs of, uh, oh, nice, um, of Double Masters, so some really, really nice stuff. Really excited about Double Masters. The value there is, like, stupid good. Um, it's really, really solid. And so I'm excited to give some away. Uh, I'm also excited to open some, hopefully, this week, so it should be a good time, but uh, really, really sweet. Sure. That's, like, fine. It's kind of annoying, but it's not really the end of the world. Um, let's do this. If they bounce it, they bounce it. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> the only downside here is brazen borrowing a brazen borrow -er is not great because uh, they just get to replay it for double value <laughs> so not amazing there um, let's do this probably should have waited on the land uh, just in case we got a blue source but looks like we did not so that's fine let's do that uh, and we'll end thankfully we do have a shock so if they do play the brazen borrower we've got something to deal with it <clears throat> so uh, very much like that uh, and then of course we do have just unsubstantiate and things like that we'll decline that's fine uh, not an amazing play but it does stop them from doing whatever they're about to do um, let's play this out This is such a silly deck. Uh, the reality is this has no business working, but we're going to do it. All right. Uh, go ahead and pass. <clears throat> so now at least we're attacking on two axes, uh, axes, but the reality is we're still not in a great position. Yep. Here they can get any really powerful thing, which I'm sure they have a lot. <clears throat> Ooh, that is pretty good. Okay. Well, they're probably going to get a free planeswalker out of this. Um, let's crash through. Take action. Okay. I wish this was any non land permanent. That would be helpful. Um, all right. Let's attack in. Uh, yeah, let's pass. Uh, although, I guess we just get to, like, they steal it. We just get to bounce it back to our hand. So that's fine. If that's what their best play is to 
is to mass manipulation for just the Royal Scions, that's not really that great. I mean, they get an activation out of it, but they have to spend quite a bit of mana. Uh, so that's going to be their entire turn, and then we just get to Brazen Borrow it. So, like, and then that activates Riddle Form. We get to then pop in for a lot more. Um, sure. That's totally fine. We just get to bounce that. Uh, effectively, they're just trying to shields up a little bit here, I think. Uh, which works. I mean, that's totally fine, but we just get to bounce this. And then we win. Theoretically, I should say. Let's bounce it. Uh, not going to activate this. Just on the off chance they've got creature removal, there's no reason to, to run into it right now. Uh, cool. Alright, let's do this. Let's just opt. See what we get. Um, interested to see what they do here, if anything. They've only got three mana open, but that does mean they could just play a Brazen Borrower. Uh, granted, we have Shock, so like I'm not tremendously worried about that. Um, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do this. If their plan is just to flash out the Borrower, which it look, yep, it is. That's great. Uh, let's bounce it. Decline. So now we just get to win because we have shock. Look at that. We actually got there. Sure. Take action. Do it. <laughs> hey, we got a win. I'm a little surprised to be honest. <laughs> uh, that was great. That was really, really fun. Um, Worth noting there, had we shocked the Brazen Borrower, we could not have won that turn, so um, that was the importance of bouncing the Brazen Borrower. Uh, but because they didn't have any more mana, it didn't matter anyway, so it was worth doing. Awesome. All right, one more game for this video, and then of course we'll jump into a second. Uh, so we will get another few games in with this one. Uh, I really do like this deck. I think it's fun. It's a little bit silly. It's not meant to be the most competitive deck in the world, but I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, Swanstorm also uh, mentioned a riddle form style deck very recently, which was focused on kind of drawing two. Um, we did another video that was kind of based on that with Double Vision, um, but this also kind of falls in line with what he was creating there, and I really, really liked that deck. I just didn't think it had the legs to really do too much. Um, no offense to Swanstorm by any means, I just don't think that it was quite there yet. Um, and so I think this does, like, basically it's just kind of an upgrade version of it. Um, with a few more kind of riddle form focused cards, uh, which I thought was really fun. So, uh, Swanstorm, thanks for, uh, for giving us a, uh, a really cool idea, I think. Um, we're just going to pass here. We get to essentially just shock anything that they do, if they do anything. Okay. Do we care about that? Uh, my guess is this is a Winota deck. Um, we're going to pass and see what happens. They should probably just attack first. I actually was really debating on a Winota deck, by the way. Um, okay. Sure. I'm going to shock one of these. Um, if we could just run them out of resources, we're kind of in great shape. Let's also just bounce this. I mean, why not, right? Um, no lands, so we pass. Um, gonna take a hit here. Not a ton we can do about that. We do get to opt, though, which is kind of nice. Um, we'll wait till the end of the turn, because if they do play something we can Bone Crusher Giant, then we will. Um, thankfully, this doesn't trigger Winota, which is great. Uh, we have to get rid of anything that triggers Winota, 100%. <laughs> That is a problem card, let me tell you. Okay. Kind of surprised they don't have any other plays here. Um, a riddle form. Do we actually want riddle form, though, is the question. I kind of just want lands. <laughs> That's really terrible, but okay, good. Um, lands are, like, way more important at the moment. Let's do this. Let's play out Narset. Um, they're not, I mean, they probably have raised the alarms here, if I had to guess. 
uh, which makes a lot of sense, and that's fine. Probably gonna get a big Winodo hit uh, next turn. Yeah. If they've got double, that'd be pretty sweet. That would be very, very sweet. Do they? Ah, no, Bone Crusher. Okay. Well, let's get a Shock. Shock's nice. Um, thankfully, we've got the second Mountain already in hand, so we can now kind of easily double up on some burn spells if need be. Um, they did Shock themselves here. Ah. Fair enough. That's a good card. Um, so here's my question. Do we just get a copy of that? Is, is that how that works? We would get a copy? 100% copy? Counters and all? Hmm. I kind of don't think so, but I also don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. What should we do here? I'm going to take a big hit, but I'm actually going to pass. We can Bone Crusher and Shock something, then next turn play Bone Crusher. Sure. Ooh, okay. So we do need to do this now. Let's get these out of here. Um, just getting the most amount of stuff killed first. Uh, we can shock this and play a Bone Crusher, which is why I use both Bone Crushers, by the way. Um, let's do that. Shock. Gonna take a damage here. Um... Oh, it's indestructible. Oh, no. Oh, I messed up. Whoops. So we just lose then. Well, that's fine. All right. Well done. That was just... I, I messed up on the... I forgot about the uh, the Enforcer there. My bad. Uh, I think we would have lost anyway because they were pretty outpowering us. But, like, eh, it was worth a shot. Uh, regardless, uh, this is a really silly and kind of fun deck. It's a riddle form focused deck, so obviously it's not going to be the most competitive thing in the world, but, uh, it does, you know, it's got some cool stuff. It's got some fun plays. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure to enter that double masters giveaway and stay tuned for part two of this deck coming out very soon. I really do appreciate all the support lately, guys. It's been phenomenal. Thank you to all the new patrons as well as all the new people in discord as well. Uh, we're we're certainly happy to have you. We hope you'll enjoy the community. Um, we're really thankful to have a really awesome community. <laughs> we're very lucky and fortunate, but uh, we just, we really appreciate everybody being there. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you very, very soon for part two.